Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. At this point in your project development, you should have an initial project plan created. Before recording the actual progress made, meaning the actual work performed on the tasks in the project file, you should save a copy of the original project plan. This copy is called a project baseline. You can later use the baseline as a reference point as you begin to track the actual work performed on the project. This lets you compare the actual values, durations, and work associated with the completion of the project's tasks to the original baseline plan. This data can then be displayed and printed using the different views and reports in Microsoft Project. To save a baseline copy of a project file, click the Project tab in the ribbon and then click the Set Baseline drop-down button in the Schedule button group. In the drop-down menu that appears, choose the Set Baseline command. In the Set Baseline dialog box that appears, select the Set Baseline option button and then select the name of the baseline copy to create from the adjacent drop-down menu. You can have up to 11 different baseline copies of a project file that you can create for comparison purposes. Next, in the For section, select the Entire Project Option button. Then click the OK button to save the current project file as the selected baseline. After a baseline is created, you can then compare the saved values in the baseline against the actual work values you record. For example, you can see the variance between the baseline task durations and actual task durations when using the Variance view of the table in the Gantt chart view of a project file. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.